if we are to achieve a culture of peace and security in the region, then obviously we have to address the issue of imbalance. I mean, we all know and we will shed many tears around some of the violence that occurs um, in our families, um, in our communities, in our neighbourhoods. People's lives are so much rooted in culture and faith. Within the far-flung islands of the Pacific region is found a vast diversity of races, cultures, languages and religious traditions, illustrative of the major influences that have shaped the affairs of humanity throughout history. In many of the Pacific nations, women have traditionally been restricted to a secondary role in the life of society. Moreover, gender-based violence is widespread across the Pacific. Symptomatic of a deeper state of gender inequality, violence against women and girls has been consistently raised by Pacific leaders in the framework of the Universal Periodic Review of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. Gender equality and addressing gender-based violence are key regional priorities in the Pacific and are the subjects of this short film. A common theme in the region is the need for cultural factors to be addressed in order to augment the empowerment of women and, in some situations, to directly address violence against women in the Pacific. These factors include cultural norms and values, certain cultural practices, traditional justice systems, and expectations concerning the participation of women in decision-making at all levels. This film captures views presented at the consultation on women's empowerment for a culture of peace and non-violence in the Pacific held in Fiji in June 2013 and raises issues needing to be re-examined in order for the diversity and richness of Pacific cultures to evolve towards a gender-balanced and peaceful society.